sure you have all the things you need for our class this morning. Of course, we'll be sitting in a chair. Make sure it's a sturdy chair. And hopefully something without arms. If you have arms, not to worry. You'll need to modify a little bit if they get in the way. Uh, you're wearing sneakers, not flip-flops or house slippers. Uh, you have a block or a Tupperware or something solid that you don't mind uh, putting your foot on from time to time. Uh, and then we'll have some water. Of course, you want to be sure you can keep yourself hydrated. So, how's everyone doing today? I had a special privilege this morning. I was one of the high school volunteers who was able to drive around town and I got to deliver six lawn signs to some graduating seniors. That was really exciting. I have one of those, so of course he's still sleeping, but the sign is in the front yard, so that's the important part. Um, anyway, I hope you can get out and enjoy the sunshine and uh, practice some of your balance work while you go for a walk later today. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, come to sit comfortably in your chair. Bring your seat all the way to the back of your chair. Lift up your spine along the backrest, broaden your shoulders. Slide your feet out to land flat on the floor just a bit in front of your knees. Let your hands rest somewhere on your lap, either face up or down, it doesn't matter. Be soft in your spine, in your neck. Deep breath in. Big sigh out your mouth. Allow your body to come to stillness. Allow your mind to come inward here to your own body. Sometimes this is the hardest part. And our mind travels outside to other activities, to other tasks, to other people. And I'll invite you today to visualize that you are taking those ideas and tasks and people and placing them inside of a box. Watch yourself close the lid on that box. Pick up the box and move it outside of your practice space. Put it down, close the door, leave it over there, and remind yourself that you can Go and reopen it as soon as practice is finished. This is our time. The time you focus to come inward on your own body, on your own mind, your own spirit. Notice as the breath gets a little longer and deeper, we're going to begin to movement today with the neck. So as you exhale, lower your chin downward toward your chest. Feel the lengthening in the back of the neck. Inhale, lift your gaze upward toward the sky. And I'll invite you to open your mouth, drop your chin way down, big wide open mouth, stick your tongue out and try to touch your chin with the tip of your tongue. Now as you exhale, chin comes all the way down, close your mouth, drop your head again, and we'll roll left ear to left shoulder. While you're here, extend your jaw forward and move it side to side. Drop chin to chest again as you exhale. Roll to the other side. Right ear to right shoulder. Again, extend your lower jaw forward and wiggle your chin side to side. Let's go back and forth. Drop your chin as you exhale. Roll to the other side as you inhale. And again, drop forward. Roll to the other side. And one more drop forward. Bring your palms together at your heart. Sit up tall, away from your back rest, and slide your feet under your knees. Inhale, lift your hands and gaze up to the sky. Exhale, open wide your arms. Come all the way back around and land again in front of your heart. Let's go like this. Inhale, come up. 
Exhale, open wide. One more of these. Inhale, come up. Exhale, open wide. This time we go in reverse. Inhale, open wide. Palms touch at the top and exhale, come down to your heart. Go again, drop your hands. Inhale, out and up. Exhale, palms touch, slide down. Last one of these. Inhale, all the way up. Palms touch, come down to your heart. All right, hands come onto your knees and we're gonna scooch forward to the middle of our chair. Slide your feet with you so they stay under your knees. Cat and cow from here, rounding and arching the spine. So let's wake up the spine, moving through flexion and extension of the spine. Notice if you're getting the entire length of your spine, all the way at the bottom down into your sacrum. Lumbar, thoracic, cervical, all the way up to the tippy top of your head. And last time, round it back, lift it up, and release. Okay, sitting nice and tall, we'll drop our hands down, dangling your hands below your shoulders. Now, what are we doing with our legs today? We're here for balance, so we need a strong core. We're going to do a lot of that. But we're also strong legs, right? So, arms drop, hands below shoulders, press your feet to the floor. Sit up taller in the crown of your head and squeeze your shoulders to your ears. Exhale, press the palms of your hands down. Inhale, squeeze your shoulders up. Exhale, press the palms of your hands down. Keep pushing your feet one more time, shoulders up. Exhale, palms press down. Okay, this time, let's bring your hands around the front of your knee, lift your knee up toward your shoulder, and other leg. Drop it down, lift your other knee, pull it up. Let's go back and forth like this, pulling the knee up to your heart, dropping it down. Inter, uh, you can interlace your fingers if you like. You can take your hands behind your knee if you like. They both work. Press down the opposite foot. Engage your core. Lift your crown. All good stuff. Okay. Now we're going to try a little bit different. This time we're going to lift the leg up, but we're going to open it out to the side and put it down. Then we'll go in reverse. Lift it up, pull it back in, and put it down. So you might find that your torso wants to rock around and help you out with this. You might want to lean back, and as you open it up and drop your leg down, you might lean the opposite way. Let's try not to do a lot of that and try to hold yourself stable in the center, tall in your core, and really strong through the middle, all right? So here we go. You'll lift your leg up. Open it to the side and put it down. Then you go in reverse, lift your leg, bring it center and put it down. Other side, we're alternating legs. Breathing. The leg that's not lifting is pressing the ground. Last one of these, both sides. Other one, and reverse. Okay, all done. Did you feel that in your core? I felt a lot of that. Let's move to the front of the chair and we'll Charleston the legs for a little release. Feet together, knees together, hands on your kneecaps. Open and shut. Loosen it up. Let your hips relax. Okay, let's get some ankle swirls here. So sit where you need to be stable and controlled. If you have some spinal issues, you might want to move all the way to the back of your chair so that your backrest can support you. You can stay all the way at the front for a lot of power out of your legs, or you can come to the middle for half power out of your legs. You decide where you want to be, okay? I'm going to start here with my hands on my hip creases. You're welcome to hold the chair for support. Kick your leg forward and straight. Push the heel of your foot away from you and pull the toes toward your face. 
I want you to notice strong quadriceps. You're also pushing down into the floor, which is engaging your core in the middle. Now, option to get fancy and add the arms. You'll punch to the ceiling for two, and then you'll punch forward for two. Okay? Just silly. Just getting your body moving. Notice if trying to remember what you're doing is causing you to stop breathing. Maybe it's causing you to not pay attention to all the essentials here. What are those? We're pressing down one foot. We're tightening the quadriceps. We're pushing the heel and pulling the toes. We're strong in the core. Let's do one more set through. And all done. Okay, release. I felt a lot of that in my core, so I hope you did too. And we're going to Charleston the legs one more time. Relax them out. Okay, let's come to heel and toe raises. Rock back and forth on the sole of your foot. Come onto your tippy toes as you lift your heels. Then rock onto your heels as you lift your toes. Now can you circle your ankle around on your tiptoe? Reverse the circle. Trade sides. The calf muscle is the heart pump for the lower half of the body. So we really want to be sure we squeeze the calf muscle. <laughs> And keep those ankles stable, right? When we go out walking, most of us, we don't have a flat running track to walk on and we have uneven sidewalks. So we wanna be sure we roll around the ankles and put a little tension on those ankles so they can be stable for us. Okay, let's take some torso circles this time. We're gonna sit in the middle or the front of your seat, widen your feet, and plant your feet on the floor, under your knees, ankles underneath. Hands are going to stay on the top of our legs, right near our kneecaps, and you're going to press down for support. As soon as you press your feet and your hands, you should feel all this middle of your body fire up. That's what we want, right? Okay, take a deep breath in. Lean and move across the middle to the other side, and come around the back. So you're going to lean toward one knee, Swipe it across and around, big circles. Leaning, take care, you're supporting yourself in your core. Also rounding through, maybe finding cat and cow a little bit as you go around. How about we reverse, here we go, either way. And come back to the center. All right, feet come together. And this time we're gonna tip to the side. Actually, let's have a water break. How is everybody doing? I so wish I could see you and I could know how you're feeling and how you're doing while we practice together. Okay, so we're going to take lateral flexion of the spine now. So come to sit either the front or the middle of your chair. If you have an armrest, you're going to have to negotiate around your armrest, okay? We're going to drop the left arm so it dangles below your shoulder. And if your shoulder works, you're going to reach the opposite arm up to the sky. If that doesn't work, that's okay. You could put your hand to your shoulder and try to lift your elbow or keep your hand down on your waist and don't use your arm at all, your choice. As you exhale, you'll lean toward those left fingers that are dangling to the floor, and while they're down there, let's twinkle them around. You can do both hands, yeah. Twinkle both fingers, 
Squeeze and open your fists. Are you still pressing your feet? Let's roll our wrists. Are you still holding strong in your core? Feel that big opening between your ribs. And release, inhale, come back to center. Okay, shake that out. Let's try the other side. Drop your right arm down, let it dangle below your shoulder. Opposite arm is gonna come all the way up or somewhere alternating shoulder, waist, something that feels possible with that shoulder. All right, here we go. As you exhale, you're leaning to your right side this time. And let's let the fingers go. Squeeze them, squeeze it open. Twinkle, twinkle. Roll your wrists. Notice your middle, still strong. Pull in and up, press your feet. So all of these are really nice stretches that you can do anytime in your comfort of your own house. You don't need me to follow along. I love it when you join me for, pre for extra tips, but please practice other days as well. Here we go, inhale, come back up. Exhale, release, okay. So we'll take our fingers and interlace them and draw circles with your wrists around. Try to let your elbows relax and just dangle. Reverse direction of that wrist twirl. <laughs> My cat is trying to get out the window through the blind. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to take those fingers and bend them the opposite way. So take your palms face up and bring the palms toward your chin. Drop your elbows toward each other. Okay, so we're sort of bending the wrists and the fingers in the opposite way. Just a little bit. Then relax them. Press the palms forward, thumbs down. Go in reverse. Bring your palms toward your belly, toward your chin, then drop your elbows toward each other. Then reverse. Open the elbows, press the palms down and forward. Now, maybe your shoulders will let you do this. Lift your palms up toward the ceiling, over your head. As you do this, try to keep your middle steady. Don't let the lower ribs poke out the front. Tip sideways, dropping over. Inhale, lift it up, tip the other way. Inhale, lift up, let go of your hands and relax all the way down. Okay, so we're gonna do some more marching with the lower body. So as we lift the knees up this time, we'll take lower body marching. We did straight legs before, so this time we're using bent legs, which is operating a, a slightly different muscle group, but still core, right? Now I want you to see how quietly can you march. Quiet, quiet marching. Tippy toes, the tippy toes are gonna tap. Now can you march and tap your heels instead? Keep breathing, nice and strong. Okay, back and forth, toe, toe, heel, heel. All done, okay, relax. Charleston, your knees open and shut. So all of these exercises, they're strengthening our legs. They're strengthening our core in the middle. They're helping us stay stable when we get upright, okay? So we're gonna stretch the lower legs, then we're gonna um, do a sun salutation from seated before we get up this morning. So to stretch the legs, I wanna be sure we stretch this hip flexor muscle right here in the hip crease. So let's rotate to the side of your chair, but please hold on so you don't slide off on the floor. So I want you to bring your entire right leg onto the width of your chair and hold on somehow to your chair so you don't fall out. Your entire left thigh and buttocks are gonna not be touching the chair, they're empty underneath. Now slide that left foot behind you, drop the knee toward the floor. Okay, so get stable. Get yourself 
really firm on your chair. Your left knee has dropped down toward the floor and your heel is pushing back, but tuck the toes under and try to press the balls of your foot down to the floor. You might notice that you have a deep bend curve in your low back. We wanna to try to get rid of that and push the tailbone down, push the pubic bone forward and feel straight length up the front of that leg. If it's possible for your shoulder to do this, take that same side arm up toward the sky and lean toward the backrest of your chair as you drop your knee even further toward the floor. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, release. Turn around to do the other side. Okay, so we have this time my entire left thigh and buttocks are on the chair. I'm holding on so I don't fall off. And I'm going to drop my right knee to the floor and slide my foot behind me, toes tucked under. From here, I want to sit up nice and tall. As I push my foot down, I'm going to notice if I have a curve in the front of my hip crease and a deep curve in my back. In order to get rid of that, I'm going to press my tailbone down and my pubic bone forward, push my foot to the floor, and sit straight and tall. Then I'm going to add my arm up to the sky and exhale, leaning sideways toward the backrest of my chair as I drop my knee even deeper to the floor toward the floor. Inhale, release, come up, and back to center. All right, shake those legs out. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is a seated version of the sun salutation. So we've done uh, almost all these activities except the twist. I forgot the twist, so let's practice that first. Take your right arm up a bit. Exhale, rotate your ribs to the left, drop your arms down. Maybe your right arm crosses over to your opposite knee and your left hand drops below your left shoulder. Ribs twisting here, shoulders turning. Back to center, inhale. Exhale, settle. Other side, inhale up your other arm. Rotate to the right and drop your arms down. So my left arm will cross over to the opposite knee. My right arm is going to dangle below my shoulder. Okay, inhale back to center and exhale, let it go. All right, so let's take a forward fold. We'll take inhale to bring the arms up. Exhale, drop your hands to your kneecaps and lean forward over your thighs. Inhale, round your back into cat stretch, hands on the knees, roll back toward the seat, backrest of your seat. Inhale, sit up to cow belly stretch, pull your elbows and wrists and head toward the back. Exhale, forward fold again. This time, pick up your left knee as you sit up and squeeze your knee toward your body. Forward fold again, leaning out over your legs. Pick up your other knee as you sit up, pull your knee up toward your body. Exhale, release all the way down. This time, sit all the way up tall, reach your arms overhead, rotate left and drop your arms down. Back to center, inhale, twist the other way, exhale. Inhale back to center, this time lean to your left, exhale, lean over. Inhale, come up, exhale, lean the other way. Inhale, come up, hands come all the way down and back into your heart. Okay, let's try that again. Inhale, arms reach all the way up. Exhale, hands to your kneecaps, forward fold, lean over your legs. Cat stretch, round to the back. Inhale, belly lifts up to the front. Exhale, fold down again. Inhale, your left leg comes up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, your right leg comes up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, 
Inhale, sit all the way up tall. Twist left as you exhale. Inhale, back to center. Twist right as you exhale. Inhale, back to center. Lean left, exhale. Inhale, center. Lean right, exhale. Inhale, center. All done, release your arms down and come to your heart. How about one more time for good measure? Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands on your knees, forward fold. Inhale, cow belly stretch. Exhale, cat stretch. Inhale, cow belly stretch again. Exhale, forward fold. Lift your left knee, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Lift your right knee, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, sit all the way up tall. Twist left, exhale. Inhale, rotate center. Other side, exhale as you twist. Inhale, back to center. Tip to the left, exhale. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale the other way. Inhale, sit tall. Release your arms all the way down. Palms come to your heart. Okay, it's time to get up now. Let's do some standing work. Bring yourself to the front of your chair. If your knees don't like practicing, just get on up. If you're ready to practice with me, we're going to work on building strength in our thighs and our glutes by leaning forward over our bent knees. Make sure your feet are behind your knees. When you lean forward over your legs, really press your feet to the ground. Squeeze your legs. Press down. Okay, let's stand all the way up this time. Here we go. All the way. Coming up. Arms reach overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart. Okay, shake out your legs as you come to the back of your chair. I'm going to rotate my chair. Let's do the opposite now. You're on your heel. Lift the balls of your feet. This time we're activating the little tiny muscle on the front of your shin. Now we're going to tap the foot forward underneath the chair. So we're going back and forth. You stand on one foot, tap the other toes in front of you to the floor under your chair. As you tap, I want you to tighten up your thigh muscles and push the ball of your foot into the floor like you really want to make an indentation. Okay, Strong quads. Last two. All done. Now we're going to tap the toe behind us. Squeeze your buttocks as you reach back. Okay, let's go to the side, tapping the toe, squeezing the quads, out to the side, last two here, all done, okay. So I'm going to stand sideways now so that my right hand is on my chair. From here I'm going to slide my left foot forward. All right, already you should notice your balance is a little unstable because you really only have one entire foot and part of another, maybe a third of your other foot. If you tighten your quads and ever so slightly tap your toe to the floor, let's tap it up and down. Tap, tap, tap. Really, really small, so it's real quiet sound. Now I want you to notice the leg you're standing on. Your whole foot is spread out. Right? Spread those toes, press down into the floor. Please take care your knee is not locked. Okay, let's try the other side. Stand on your other leg, slide your other foot out, tap your toes to the floor. The leg you're standing on. We want to be really strong and stable in that foot. Spread your toes, press your toes down, Feel the ball of your big toe, the 
center of your heel. Soften your knee a little bit. Engage in your middle. Stand tall and shine out. Okay, all done. All right, so we're gonna do that similarly, but this time we're gonna tap the heel. It's a little awkward to tap the heel quietly. So you should notice right away, in order to activate a flexed foot so that the toes come toward your body, your heel is down, you're gonna need the extra strength in this quad muscle here, okay? Really gentle, small tap. Quietly tap, squeeze the middle, do you notice any wobbling around more so when you're using your heel than when you were using your toe? Are you still breathing? <laughs> okay, let's change legs. Heel comes forward, gentle tapping. You should notice the quadriceps are really strong on this leg, yeah? Gentle taps of the heel, nice and quiet. Really small taps. Tick, 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 tick. Small taps. Okay, shake that out, relax. All right, so let's get our uh, block or book or Tupperware. You're gonna put it in front of you. So, <clears throat> with this one, we're gonna step over the block. Actually, I'm gonna rotate mine so it's, it's lengthwise, and I'm gonna step over. If you need your chair, drag it back and forth with you, okay? As much as you need it, it should be there for you. You're gonna lift a bent knee up, step out and tap your toe out in the front. Tap it maybe four or five times, then step onto your foot and bring your back foot up to meet your front foot, okay? The same leg that brought you forward, we're gonna step that leg to the back, okay? So you'll lift it up, step to the back, tap your toe back there three or four or five times, then roll onto that foot, lift your front foot up, and step down, okay? Then we'll change legs. All right, so I'm gonna stand on my other foot, lift my opposite leg up and over, Tap the toes a few times out the front. Then step all the way onto that foot and bring my back foot up and over to meet it. Same side leg is gonna take me backward. Okay. Please remember the balancing leg, the leg we're standing on, that's the one doing all the work. So we wanna be really careful to spread the toes, get into all of the ball mounds of the toes, roll it back. Bring it up and over, okay? Keep your knees soft as you go. Engage through your center core. Feel that sensation that somebody wrapped something around you and really pulled it tight out the back, right? Maybe squeezed it. Someone put on a corset around you and really pulled it tight. Lift your body up. Okay, let's go through one more time each side. Lift your leg up, tap your toes out the front. Then roll and step onto that foot. Bring your other foot up to meet it. Same side leg is gonna go backward. Lift up and over and tap, 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 tap out the back. Then roll onto that foot and come back. Change legs. Other foot goes out the front. Tap, 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 tap. Step forward, bring your other foot with you. And then we go in reverse. Same side leg reaches to the back. Tap, 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 tap. Then step on that foot and come up and over. All right, nice work, good job. Can we do this sideways? I'm gonna come in front of my chair. Uh, what I meant to say is I'm gonna bring the chair in front of me, there. That way I can hold on to it. And I'm gonna step over with one leg and I'm gonna tap the side of my toe to the floor. Right? So I've got the ankle out to the side. Don't rotate so that your toe is up. Make sure the toe points forward, okay? Then you're gonna step on that leg and come up and over with your other leg. Then that second side leg is gonna go back where it came from, but just the toes, tap, 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 tap. And maybe 
make sure you're going up and down sideways, not forward and back with your flipper foot. Up and down sideways. Then step over and bring your first leg back over. Okay, let's go back and forth. Reach over, tap, 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 tap. Then come on over and bring your second leg. Reach that second leg back, tap, 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 tap. Slide over and bring your first leg back. Let's go again one more time since we only have uh, these two sides to go here. This one's hard to keep the whole leg up and down, isn't it? Then we go across. Last one, reach that leg out, tap, 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 tap. Then step across and bring your first leg back. Okay, nice work, shake that out. Let's get rid of the block for now. We'll just move it to the side. And to come to stand where you're stable, we're gonna take a balance posture of tree pose again today. So we'll stand first on the right leg and rotate your left knee out to the side. Take care that when you come into tree pose that you don't drop into your standing leg hip. You wanna stay nice and tall even as you rotate your leg to the side. If you would like to keep your foot on the floor, go ahead. Find a gaze for your, uh, uh, a place for your gaze to rest across the horizon so you remain lifted tall in your chin. If you wanna lift your foot up, place it on the side of your calf muscle. Keep breathing. Tailbone drops and presses forward. That's really important here to help us stabilize our middle. Arm position is optional, you pick. You can stay holding the chair or open your arms any way that feels comfortable to your body. Breathe. Take care, your knee is a little soft on your standing leg, but your toes are spread and you're pressing the balls of your feet into the ground. And we'll come back down, release that out, and shake it. Okay, other side, rotate your chair as needed. We're gonna stand on the left leg. Remember, we don't wanna let the hip pop out to the left. We wanna stay nice and tall, straight up and down as best we can. Find some place for your gaze to land out on the horizon. Rotate your other knee out to the side. Feel free to leave your foot, toes on the floor and heel propped up against your ankle. If you wanna come a little higher, slide your foot onto the side of your calf muscle. Drop your tailbone down and push it forward. And let's get strong and stable on your base leg. The knee is a little soft, right? The shoulders are broad. Feel free to hold on or if you like, take any other hand position that feels safe to your body this morning. Smooth and deep breath. And release, let's come back down and shake it out. Okay. We're almost out of time for our practice together today, so let's take some stretches for our back. My favorite back stretch is to use the top of a chair or the wall. I'm gonna show you first with the wall, so you're a little less intense on your back. You're gonna keep your arms as wide as your shoulders or even wider, and maybe shoulder height. Once you get them placed on the wall, pull your hips back, and reach out so that your tailbone pulls away from the wall. Knees will remain soft. Next option is to use the back of a chair. Hands will also remain wide like your shoulders. Keep your hands out to the edges. Knees are soft. Pull up your belly. Don't let it drop out and hang on the floor. Pull yourself back. Hips pull back. Try to keep your spine long and extended. Once you get settled, really pull your tailbone back and reach your fingers forward. No need to drop your chest below your shoulders. 
If your shoulders don't like that, turn your chair around and bring your hands onto the seat of your chair. That way you won't have to have that full extension in the deltoid muscle. You could come to your forearms. Those of you who have more space available to continue folding, go right ahead and drop into forward fold, bringing your hands down by your ankles and drop your head. Add a little sway of your hips if that feels good, depending on where you are in your forward fold. Don't forget, keep holding on to your belly. Keep lifting it towards your spine. And to release, you will first look forward, bend your knees, walk forward, lift from your head, stand up tall. Okay? Let's come back to seated. Please have a drink of water on the way. So my friends, that's all the time we have together today. We'll take a closing seat together for centering. Uh, please remind your friends and family that I'm here every Friday morning at 10 a.m. This is offered to all of you free of charge. However, I am uh, also asking for donations. If you would like uh, to pay for this class, uh, that would be fabulous. Usually I teach this class on Wednesdays at the Amesbury Senior Center and on Fridays at the Salisbury Senior Center. So if you would like to pay for this class, if you read the details of the class description that are out there on the Facebook event, you will find links to both my PayPal and my Venmo account, and I would greatly appreciate that. As you know, uh, those of you who have had gym memberships in the past, it's challenging, the gyms are all closed, and so all of us independent contractor teachers are trying to figure out how to make this work. So thank you so much for continuing to come every week. I very much appreciate your support and I'm so glad to know that you are staying healthy. Let's come into the back of your chair, slide your seat all the way into the back, lift your spine up against the backrest, slide your feet gently out in front of your knees so they land flat on the floor. Broaden from shoulder tip to shoulder tip, lift through the crown of your head, rest your hands in your lap, Take a deep breath in through your nose. Big sigh out your mouth as you lower your chin downward toward your chest. Inhale, roll your left ear toward your left shoulder. Exhale, forward comes your chin to chest. Inhale to the other side. Exhale, forward, chin to chest. Inhale, lift your nose so you're looking straight ahead, but keep your eyes closed. We're going to stay here for 10 quiet, still breaths. On your next exhalation, once more, lower your chin to your chest. Bring your palms together in front of your heart. Deep breath in, reach your hands and face upward. Exhale, open your arms wide around and bring your palms back together one more time in front of you. Thank you everyone for practicing with me today and I hope to see you again next week. Namaste.